Hey friends, welcome back to Decorate with Dana and welcome to my very first fall Decorate with Me for 2021. I am so excited to be sharing with you my fall coffee bar today. If you've been around, you know it's one of my favorite places to, to decorate and I always seem to start at my coffee bar for every season. It just kind of puts me in the mood to do the rest of the decorating. So I am really excited to share that with you. I did, and I know a few months ago, I did pick up a new cabinet for my coffee bar and I love that cabinet, but I have found a different place for that cabinet and ended up picking up a different one. I looked all over, I looked on Facebook Marketplace, I went to yard sales, I went to thrift stores. I ended up finding one at like a discount furniture store and I really like it and I think we got a really good deal on it and I think it just kind of fits that um, area a little better and fits the style a little better so I did end up going with like a rustic kind of black colored coffee bar because I think it just kind of ties in the black appliances and the cabinets are all white but they have black hardware so I think everything just ties in super nicely. We did hang another shelf above the coffee bar also so there are now two shelves plus another little side shelf so I'm really excited to decorate this one. We just got it all set up now. Um, the only thing is we did order a new piece of glass because this one is just a little bit bigger so we ordered a new piece of glass, a custom piece of glass that will not be ready until this Monday so I still didn't want to wait to share this video so there will be a glass that piece of glass that fits the whole top um, to a T. This one is a little bit like an inch or two short on each side in the front but that's okay for now I just keep the glass on there because it keeps the top protected from any kind of coffee splatters or anything. So I am excited to share my fall coffee bar with you today and then I'm also going to be sharing with you from that same Better Homes and Gardens um, recipe, uh, recipe, I think it was the Better Homes and Gardens Fall Recipes magazine that I found in the grocery store. I am sharing with you brown butter snickerdoodle cookie cups, I think they are. Oh my gosh, they are so amazing. So snickerdoodles are awesome anyways, but then the brown butter just sends them right over the top. So I'm excited to share that recipe with you too. I have been really like last week I shared with a recipe with you, a couple recipes with you also. I really want to try to incorporate that in some or more or all of my fall decorating videos. I love, you know, just sharing kind of easy comfort foods, especially in the fall and winter. And a couple of you guys sent me some recipes that I'm super excited to try. If anybody has any others, feel free to leave them um, down in the comments or send me an email. My email is always in my description box. So with that being said, I will kind of show you the coffee bar, the shelves that we put up, and then we will get decorating. Okay, so here is the new coffee bar cabinet. Again, I just really love this. The size ended up being perfect. I already have just my coffee pots on there and my husband's mug. Um, but it's just great. It has the storage with the two drawers. The only thing I have in this one are our coffee pods are already in here because we have had this for a few days. And then down here, these open up and so there are a couple of shelves down here to decorate. And it's just a super rustic kind of finish. I think it just looks great with the black appliances and all the black hardware on the cabinets. And then I did hang another one of these shelves. They are the same kind. Um, the top shelf does look a tiny bit darker, but I'm just not even going to worry about it. They're both the natural finish. And if you are just cutting actual wood, it's not always going to look exactly the same anyways, so I think it's totally fine. And then I did add just this little shelf here on the side. So this is the cabinet that we are working with that we are going to decorate for and fall. And then this is just like a little overview of some of the things that I am probably going to be using. Um, I'm going to show you real quick first how I DIY'd these Tirani syrup um, coffee syrup bottles and just made them you know with my own labels and stuff and then there's just some fall decor some old some new some from last year so this is just kind of a little overview of some of the things that i may or may not use and then i may also be pulling some decor from other areas as well yesterday there was 
There is a life I lead in this city Hurry in to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Put me together, take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together, take me back where I belong Okay, everybody, but now we are going to make the brown butter snickerdoodle cookie cups. This is the ingredients you're going to need for this. So the star of the show is this brown butter. I will show you how to make this. This has been frozen. That's why it looks like it and butter gets foamy when you melt it and cook it anyways. But um, so this has been frozen. I will show you how I made this. I just melted one cup of butter over medium heat and it literally just kind of foamed up and sat over the medium heat for about 15 to 18 minutes until it turned brown and had little bits of brown specks going throughout it. So that is the star of the show. I have it cut down the middle in half because I'm going to use half for the actual cookies and then half for the little brown butter frosting that goes in the middle. So what else you're going to need is some milk some vanilla, cinnamon, I think this is apple pie spice, cream of tartar, baking soda, salt, flour, sugar, one egg, brown sugar. I have a couple tablespoons of uh, toasted chopped almonds here and some confectioner sugar. The only th other thing that you can garnish with, which I forgot to pull out and I may or may not use, is just some dried cranberries chopped up. So we will go ahead and get started with the cookies. If I could take you back to my youth Show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to lean So we are going to set the temperature to 350 
Okay, you guys, here is how the coffee bar came out. I think that this cabinet just makes a huge difference and it looks so much nicer in this space. But up here, are the shelves are probably my favorite things. So I added that little picture light up there. And then most of the stuff I've had, the little squirrel is new this year from Target. Um, but the mortar and pestle I had, the jug is an antique. Um, and then those are my little coffee books up there. And then down here, I think I pretty much had everything. These little pumpkins, oh no I didn't. These little pumpkins are from Target this year and those are from the Hearth and Hand line that I did just recently haul. And then those mugs are the ones that I got. They were actually part of the summer line at Joann. So I got them for like two or three dollars a mug, which is a great deal. And then all this stuff, this little riser is from the Target Dollar Spot. I just found it today. My, my Target is just starting to come out with their fall stuff. So that was in there. This little sugar bowl is really cute. This is from Amazon. I can have that linked in my Amazon store. This is from, I think that was from Joann's this year. And then coming down here, I just added a few little pieces of some things. Um, most of this I think I've already had from last year or just have had. So I just kept it really simple, but I like that when you close the doors, you can still see them nicely. They pop against the black, so I try to keep it with whites and um, woods and then some orange colors for the fall so that they can really pop in there. And then up here are my coffee syrups and then just that little coffee sign. And that is it, but this is by far, <laughs> I think, it, like I say, I said it, say it every time, but I really just love the way that this turned out. I tried to keep the shelves pretty simple, but yet still add touches of fall on there. So I feel like it just adds a nice little cozy coffee nook without being too much. Um, I made coffee, that's why this is the lid that goes to my frother, but that is actually drying right now. But that is it. So thank you all so much for watching my very first fall decorating video for 2021. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video and I would love it if you would subscribe. That helps my channel out so much and then I know to continue to make these videos that hopefully you all are loving. Follow me over on Instagram at decorate with Dana. I will see you all in my next video. I hope you have a great day.